Hello. Welcome to CJ Why Money Entertainment. And you see the table. It's time for me to cook something. I've had a lot of requests for me to make pudding. Bread pudding. Rice pudding. So, it is just too hot to turn on the oven. And it takes too long to make something like that on the grill. So, I thought. Pow! Crock pot. So we're going to make apple rice pudding in the crock pot. Quick, easy, no heat. <laughs> so let's get down to it. Get yourself a little small crock pot like this. Take this crock pot, take this out of here, spray it down. Make sure you got all inside sprayed and all on the side. Because we know that rice sticks. So that's done. Boom. Then we're going to take. And I'm going to leave the recipe in the video. So let's get to it. Three and a half cups of milk. I like to use skim milk when I cook. Or 1%. But you can use almond milk or anything. Three and a half cups. Just pour it right in. Okay. Then I'm going to need a uh, brown sugar, a half a cup of light brown sugar. Pour that in. Plop, plop. Then I'm going to need some cinnamon. That's nutmeg. This is cinnamon. And I need about a tablespoon or a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm not much of a cinnamon eater, so I'm going to use just a teaspoon. That's just enough for me. So, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle it here. Then, I'm going to use a tablespoon of margarine. There's my tablespoon. Plop. Then I need a cup of rice. If you notice, I'm not even cooking my rice. I'm putting it in raw. And this is long grain that I'm using. You could also use uh, short game rice, whatever you feel. Um, some people even use brown rice. Um, I just like the white rice for that. Okay. Then you just dump that in. I'm going to mix all of this up. Then I'm going to cook this for one hour. After I cook this for one hour, I'm going to peel and cut up my apples and dice them real small and add them to this. Then I'll tell you, where else do I go from there? <laughs> See you soon. Be me back with some rice pudding. Yeah. That uh, looks inside. Um, I'm going to stir it up and then I'm going to put it on high for an hour and a half. Okay, I added my apples and now they are all in the mix. And I add a little bit of nutmeg, let this cook for another hour, then ready to serve, hot or cold. Here it is. It's ready to be plated. Let's plate it. Throw them likes up. If you like this video, Slap that subscribe button because you want to see more me and my food and stuff.